Okay, thank you. Just maybe to add on at the household level, yes. a lot of times when we go to buy food, we don't look at the sell-by date, mm -hmm. the expiry date. So sometimes you'd buy food that's coming to expire in your house. So customers just pick food. You buy milk, bread, maybe the milk is left with one day to expire or the bread. Sometimes you find the bread going moldy in your house. Yes. And I'm sure most of us have experienced that. So you have to throw it away. Mm -hmm. So you, we need to now develop a culture. Mm -hmm. When we go to the market, we, we look at uh, expiry dates and sell by dates. Now, coming to your question, as a country, mm -hmm. Packaging is, it has moved in this country and it continues to move and it is uh, leading in the region. Government is trying to bring in policies, procedures on how we can strengthen uh, the packaging subsector. Uh, for us, as an institute, we are mainly concerned with building skills to make sure the, the, the packages that are developed can be able to protect and save food safely. They are, uh, functional, yes. they are fit for purpose. Yes. From the point of consumption, uh, production to the point of, uh, of use. Whether we are designing uh, bottles, uh, when, when we look at packaging, there are several materials. You'll, you'll find that we are talking of plastics. You see, plastic is a, is a plastic containers or pouches that is packaging. You'll talk of glass, you'll talk of metal, you'll talk of paper. So anytime we, we make a pack, yes. we make sure it is fit for purpose. On that specific product so on that, specific, that is trying to sell, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. if yeah. it is milk, yeah. it must be able to protect that milk. It, the way it is sealed, no, nothing can get in, no air can get in, yes. or uh, no moisture if it doesn't need moisture. It is properly sealed. So that I'm sure when you go to the market, you'll see that the milk packs are properly sealed. Mm -hmm. And 